Hello to all of the beautiful souls watching. Welcome to another pick a card video. This one in particular is going to be all about what is coming into your life very very soon, which you do not see coming at all. Um, there there are going to be messages regarding all the topics. Whatever I'm going to get from my guides is going to be in this one, and we got two options this time. The first one is the higher font on the left, and the second option is strength on the right. Um, both of the times are going to be given in the description box below you can choose both of the options or any one of the options that are really truly calling out to you the most and without further ado let's hop into the first option the higher font okay so if you're chosen the option number one these are the cards i have for you i have the six of wands the queen of wands ace of cups eight of swords the star king of pentacles two of pentacles ace of swords death and lastly we have the tower card for you guys so for the zodiac signs i'm sensing somebody could be a scorpio somebody could also be an aquarius over here and then we also have let's see somebody could also be an air sign gemini libra aquarius and somebody's moon sign could be an aries or in scorpio or taurus um, that's why I'm getting for the zodiac signs. Now, let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to what is something or someone who is coming into your life and you do not see them coming at all, or you do not see that thing coming into your life or rushing into your life at all. So, what is something which is coming into your life but you don't see it coming um, at all? Let's see what do we have. I'm getting for a lot of you that you have recently exited a relationship. Um, somebody also eats a lot of fish. I just got that randomly. But um, yeah, so somebody recently got out of a relationship or ended something with someone. This is a person that you ended things with or somebody ended things with you. This could also be some sort of a like I'm hearing the word rejection. So maybe you got rejected by someone or you felt left out into the cold or this person or you rejected somebody else i don't know but whoever this person is that ended things with you or um it kind of like um yeah got broke like the connection was like broken at a point um whatever this thing is i feel um whatever this connection is the other person i feel the one who actually broke the whole connection they're thinking about how they can come back and mend things with you almost i do want to say um so this person feels like this is a past energy i'm not gonna lie um this could be this does not have to be recent but i feel it is recent for some of you but if it's not recent then i feel like it could be um something that happened probably years ago um and now this person is kind of thinking about you and they're coming back to you um yeah that's what i'm getting this person is quite miserable let me just tell you that um yeah something like that somebody eats a lot of salad or somebody yeah they have a specific way of eating salad like there's a specific type of dressing that they have okay i don't know so that's all that i'm getting and let's see what else do i see over here i'm also getting sunset so maybe you um were with this person um there's a specific sunset that they're showing me like a specific evening maybe you were with this person or this person was um uh saying goodbye to you or something like that um that's what i'm getting also um for others of you i feel you've moved on from someone you moved on from a relationship and there is somebody new coming in i don't know about this past energy i don't know if this person's going to come in or not but this person is definitely thinking about you um whoever this person is does not have to be romantic but this could also be romantic however um i feel like you the one who has moved on there's somebody who's moving on from the past and like they're letting go of everything that happened in the past all the hurt and everything and whoever this person is i feel like a new connection is coming in towards you um definitely especially when you do decide to um make things better for yourself it's almost like 
nothing special is really happening in your day-to-day life but you are making that conscious effort to be in a good vibration or to be happier or to be it could be you know anything like um it could range from doing things in a really passionate manner like um being really um grateful for every single thing i don't know what are you doing it it's going to be different for every single one of you but i just see that you are having a normal life but you're making that conscious effort to make your life significantly like better like you're trying to level up that's the best way i can explain and when you will do this you're going to attract someone into your life who's going to match up your energy and um definitely and let's see what else something's going to happen on the next full moon i also hear that or before that um that's what i'm getting um yeah definitely there is somebody who's hurt over here or this person has hurt you i feel but this person is coming towards you but really slowly like they've been really really cautious i also feel that this person is being silent right now i feel like this person is even if this person is coming towards you i'm just going to say it like outright you would have you would not even have a single clue because this person is so silent and they're so i don't want to say sneaky but they're doing everything internally it's almost like they have made up that decision but they're not telling anyone they're coming towards you but they're not telling anyone so the moment that this person actually comes to you and actually say something to you you're not going to know before that time like you're not going to be aware of i mean you can your intuition can tell you but you're not going to be aware of their movement or their decisions or their intentions before this person comes in um through any outside sources i feel like that's not going to happen um but definitely there is somebody coming in and this person is really really quiet yeah and although it may seem that this person might change their ways or they might decide to not come towards you like um in mid like i don't know in the midst of everything they might probably turn back and they may not come towards you but really like this person has made up their mind they're determined whoever this person is they're really really slow um that's a bit like annoying but this person is coming they're not going to back off that's what i'm getting over here and um let me see there's something about the color black this person wore the color black when you met them for the first time that is for some of you um or the color yellow no not yellow they're saying not that okay so black there you go um and what else number 3 is really significant for you guys whenever you're watching this video it's obviously timeless but whenever you're watching it a lot is going to happen in the upcoming 3 months and when i say a lot they're telling me that so many things when it comes to your career your finances especially and things that are going to make you feel really good about your life whatever that may be it's going to be different for every single one of you but you, it's almost like you're be you you will either be really really close to those things which are going to make you feel really good about your life or you will actually get those things but in the upcoming 3 months i am literally hearing that you're going to get a lot of things which you are also kind of expecting like the positive things i'm talking about over here kind of expecting and kind of also not expecting because you're not even aware of them so all the things that you are expecting and you're also not expecting are going to come um this is a really beautiful message yeah so number 3 do keep that in mind and then i also see a lot of fiery energy over here so this could be talking about a relationship a passionate one uh which is starting which is going to start in your life really really soon yeah definitely i see over here you're connecting with someone you know um all the things that i just said not every single bit of it is going to resonate with every single one of you however whatever is resonating and whatever actually makes some sense um and you feel like it can be applied to your situation i feel like you should take it and if it's 
in the form of an advice when you once do that or if you're already doing it you know if you're already past that mark whatever i just said then you they're saying that you're going to be attracting somebody into your life as i was talking about that you know that person the new person that is going to come in who's going to match your energy now they're diving more into that connection um this could be a gemini this could also be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius but regardless of any of those things i feel like with this person um let me see you're going to meet this person in a really um how do i say like i almost want to say quick manner but i don't know what's the best way to explain this but it's almost like you will be doing a lot of things there'll be so much on your plate you'd be extremely busy and then you once do this one thing and you have to go somewhere or you do something i don't know what it is and then you meet up with this person it's crazy but how you're going to be so busy it's like every bit of your attention is going to be focused on these little little tasks that you will have to do throughout the whole day and then just one moment comes in and this person is going to slip into your life it's crazy but this this person is coming in really quick um for those of you for whom this message is for i feel like it's very specific for someone really really specific somebody who's who is really caught up i'm also hearing they're really caught up in their work in their um like they're trying to manage a lot this person has a lot of responsibilities as well i do want to say or they feel really responsible for something um and this responsibility feels so heavy on their heart and on their mind that it kind of um is putting a lot of pressure on this person or i don't know who this person is but definitely whoever this person is i'm speaking to you directly um your person's coming in really quick just know that and it's almost like you don't have to do anything whatever you're doing it's it's going fine like i don't know why you're taking so much stress you're doing really really good um and it's almost like all of this stress will kind of be evaporated i'm hearing in a minute like when this person's going to come in something like that yeah and i'm also getting somebody's head is buried in either books or in um just tasks you know everything that you have to do because you got so much on your plate that's also another thing that i am getting over here and um definitely then they're talking about this connection something really fiery definitely this is something like there's a connection which is going to be extremely passionate um right from the start you're going to be really drawn to this person this person's going to be really drawn to you somebody's really really pale i almost want to say like caucasian um even paler i don't know but somebody's really really pale um yeah so i'm also getting something like i'm also hearing the word snowy skin or ashy skin so i don't know who, the, who has that um but definitely something about that something along those lines this person or this connection let's just uh, call it the connection is coming towards you or is coming into your reality really really quickly and it's almost like everything or every step that you're taking is bringing in this connection i don't know what are you doing like in your day to day life it might not even be related to your person it might not even be related to love um it might just be simply you're just going through life and you're just yeah doing your own thing and um you might be focusing on love you might not be focusing on love regardless but something that you're doing or something about your vibrational alignment um right now in the current moment when you're watching this it's so perfect i do want to say that every single step that you're taking or every single action that you are making is bringing in this new connection um definitely this also does not just feel passionate this connection also feels quite um how do i say quite stable and that's a very beautiful thing because i feel like when connections okay maybe somebody over here like who has chosen group number 1 maybe you're just fearful of the fact that 
um you meet people and then it's good for some time but then it kind of falls apart or it kind of um does not work out for some of the other reason because um i do not see ace of pentacles anywhere in your reading like anywhere um it's n like it's not even um you know in the background so i feel like on screen um there there's just the ace of swords and the ace of cups and off camera i don't have the ace of pentacles so i feel like you probably have that kind of um there is somebody who feels this way or who has this fear where you're like okay connections are great in the beginning when you meet up with them it's like when you meet up with the person it's great and like you know it starts off great initially however it kind of falls apart something happens and it just does not work out for this one for this connection specifically you are going to feel like you're not gonna fear this um the more and more you communicate with this person the more and more that you spend time with this person and the deeper that this connection gets i feel like you're going to realize more and more how stable and how secure this connection is and that's just going to make you feel really good um it's almost like you will have this um connection in your hand i almost want to say you will be in control um kind of like that i'm also getting somebody over here is talking to their guides or their mm -hmm. angels or to the universe i don't know to god and they're doing it out loud and it's almost like i can hear them um they're showing me this person who is talking to um it's like they're talking to an invisible entity but this entity is present around them um i don't know who you are who's doing this but it's almost like you're calling in your person like your divine counterpart or your um yeah the person that you want to be with and when you're doing that i don't know if you realize how powerful that is but it's almost like you feel so ready there is somebody who feels ready for this connection who feels um then now it's time to meet up with their um like future spouse or the one or their soulmate whoever they are manifesting and the fact that you feel ready and you are calling upon your person and you're talking to these entities or this entity whoever this is um it's actually bringing in your person and i feel like you may not realize how powerful that this is you might do it just playfully um or maybe you do realize but i feel like it's really powerful and it's actually bringing in your person i'm also getting there is somebody single who is absolutely ready to mingle and i feel like that's you you have been single for some time but i feel like you've reached that point where you are quite contented with how your single life is going um you're really happy with your singlehood and it's not that you need someone but it's almost like you feel ready you feel like yes i can handle that it's almost like that type of energy and um yeah you're confident um you're stable in your own self it's really good and let's see what else i'm getting that the person that is coming into your life the reason okay now i kind of understand why is the new person that you're attracting they're really like the connection is so passionate but also it's so grounded and stable at the same time i can kind of see because i can see a person your person is um i mean you're really stable and you're really grounded and you're really confident but i feel like your person is going to be even more than that like even more grounded even more stable even more how do i say um yeah not confident but it's almost like they're so stable to the point where if they give you a promise or if they are with you i feel like that's more than enough they don't need to say anything they don't need to um like you know make you feel over and over how stable this connection is it's almost like you don't even need them to say it um that's how they're going to make you feel um yeah something about this person is being hidden even in this reading from me um and i feel like this person is completely hidden from you um but it's almost like they're showing me that there is a curtain and you're on one end of the curtain and this person is on the other so it's almost like you just have to open the curtain and then there this person is um or should i say that 
there is this one little phase that you have to oh that's the full moon that they were talking about there is some phase of the moon that you have to go through um and that's when you meet up with this person so i think there you go somebody's name starts with a c and i'm also getting a t over here um definitely number nine is really significant really significant something about that in number four as well i think we got three numbers for you guys um three four and um nine so there is something to note that about sorry there is um definitely something really significant about those numbers and um i feel like this connection you're going to meet up with this person like um i don't feel it's going to be online i don't get that energy over here you're going to meet this person on a really how do i say um not so much of a normal sort of a hangout it might be normal but i feel like it's a more a bit more special they're telling me it's a bit more special to the person that is going to so if it's you then you're gonna go out on this um i don't know it's not a trip it's not that it's just you're just gonna be hanging out in the city wherever you live and when you're gonna be hanging out i feel like it's not just one of those trips you know or sorry it's not just one of those um weekends where you're like it's a bit more special or it could be a weekend but it it just feels special for some reason so maybe this is something you've been planning for some time with your friends i see friends over here also so maybe somebody's gonna hang out with their friends and then they do meet up with someone so um that's what i am getting and i'm gonna finish off this part right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up um that really helps me out and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and um do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time Okay, so if you're chosen the option by second, these are the cards I have for you. I have the Queen of Wands, which is the Mother of Wands in this deck. Then we also have the World Ace of Swords, the Tower, Son of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess. And lastly, we have the Six of Wands for you guys. So for the Zodiac signs, I'm sensing somebody could be a Taurus. Somebody could also be an Aries, um, a Scorpio and then we also have capricorn and we also have virgo and libra so those are the zodiac signs that i'm getting over here now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to what is coming into your life which you do not see coming at all and it could be a person it could be some sort of a relationship or it could be um, money or it could be um it could be anything so let's see what our guides have for us so let's see what do we have for group number two okay um right off the bat there is this energy of um somebody you're going to start something new soon um you have decided something um and i feel like this is going to be a bit of a loose decision i'm hearing so it's almost like you would not put too much emphasis on it you would not be like um okay so i'm gonna do this you know you would be clear about it that if i'm going to do something then it's gonna be this but i feel like there is this um seriousness lacking in this decision somewhere however um when you do decide upon this thing this is very specific again i don't know who this person is for um yeah but definitely whoever this is there is some seriousness lacking in your decision but um i feel like you will end up doing this thing whatever this is um and i feel like you will not expect to do this like for um for a certain amount of time and you would not expect this thing to come to you so quickly 
but it's almost like I'm hearing the word beware. So maybe you're asking for something, you're manifesting something and you would not expect it to come that soon. Like it's almost like you're manifesting something, you're not so serious about it. Um, If you are that person, I feel like your manifestation is coming in really quick and you're probably not serious about it. Now, again, I did not hear it in the form of a manifestation in the beginning. I almost heard it like um, when you like, you know, when we have to decide upon something, so we do say, okay, I might do this. So it's almost like you have decided what you want to do, but it's almost like you are not sure when you're going to do it or if you're going to do it or not. Um, but it's almost like the moment you decide, you're just going to do it. Um, it's going to come into your life really, really quickly. It's almost like the universe is just waiting for your approval or waiting for um, those words to come out of your mouth or something like that. That's another thing that I'm getting over here. And um, I also see somebody is struggling at their job. They're telling me. Um, whoever you are struggling at your job, I feel like either you are, either something is going to change in your like at your job or something, um, maybe with your income or I don't know, whatever you're struggling with at your job, I feel like that factor is going to change um, accordingly, like according to you. Either that is going to happen or you're going to switch jobs. That's what I'm getting as well. And something about um, you're also going to open a new stream of income. So somebody's going to do that. Um, there's also something about, um, let me see. I'm also getting there is somebody um, trying to do something. Um, not trying, but you're doing something. And it's almost like you're kind of worried or you're overthinking a lot. Like if it's going to be right and are you doing it right or not? Or um, is everything is is everything going to play out exactly the way you want it to be or not? I feel like you're just worrying too much. Um, but I feel like it's going to be fine. It's going to be perfect. That's why I'm getting as well. I'm also getting somebody stuck in a situation which is just simply not good. Um, this does not feel good. Um, and I feel like whatever the situation is, it makes you feel stuck. And I feel like something is happening behind the scenes. Um... And this situation is not going to go like this any further. I feel like either something's going to happen, either this whole situation is going to be eliminated or something's going to change and you'll be somebody, you'll be somewhere else. I'm also getting there is a person in your life right now. Either this person is already present or they're going to come in. Um, I feel like it's a fairly new person. I don't feel like this is an old connection or something. If this is an old connection, I feel like this person is developing feelings for you now. Um, I'm also getting if this is an old friend, it's almost like you stopped talking to this person or you guys just went separate ways. And then um, something happened in the connection between you and this person got rekindled, something like that. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, something about them is really alluring. They're telling me really charismatic person. I feel like this person has a lot of options as well, but their eye is on you. Um yeah, their eyes are stuck on you. If It's almost like no matter who th approaches this person, they only want you right now. So this person's desire for you is really strong. Um, yeah, their desire is really strong. And I feel like not just their desire, but I feel like they're developing feelings for you as well. Um, definitely. Um, this person is also quite confident, I see over here. Um, they may have a specific kind of an accessory that they wear. It could be a pendant of some kind, or maybe they wear a bracelet or something. Um, just some sort of an accessory. It could be a ring as well. And it's really unusual, they're telling me. Um, I'm also getting this person maybe likes to wear really colorful clothes, like really um, bright colors. That's... Or maybe that's how this person, this person's personality is. Okay, they're telling me um, more than their clothes and the way they dress up. I feel like it's their personality which is going to be really, or which is really, really bright. Um, it's almost like this person is always smiling. They're always cracking jokes and they're always laughing when they're with you. 
even when they're not with you this person's personality is just really really um how do i say upbeat that's the best way i can explain this person they could also be kind of like the life of the party type of a person um uh, okay they're saying no they're not the life of the party type of a person but it's almost like this person has that kind of vibrancy to their personality I mean, this person is probably the kind of a person who's really, like, really, how do I say, talkative when they are with you or, like, when they're with a small group of people. But when they're with a larger group of people, I feel like this person is a bit silent. It's not that they don't enjoy it, but it's almost like they're just simply silent. I don't know. Um, they just prefer talking to one or two people. Um, that's another thing that I'm getting. So that was very specific. I feel like this person has a way of doing their hair, which is, uh, which has o always been the same. So if you've been, if you have known this person for a very long time, I feel like this person still does their hair the same way that they used to. Um, it's a very specific way, and it makes them look good. They're telling me, um, and something about somebody could also be a Scorpio as well. Um, this person could also have a pet, I'm getting, um, a dog, a dog could be, somebody's name starts with D or V over here, um, definitely, and somebody recently went to some place, I feel like this place is somewhere, I don't know, it's a peaceful place, they're telling me, the vibrations I can feel, and it feels really uplifting and healing at the same time i don't know what this place is but somebody went to a place which felt really really peaceful um and you said something over there maybe to some person or to yourself or you decided something i don't know what this is but this could even be a trip maybe you took a trip to the mountains or you took a trip um, to the beach or some place which feels felt really peaceful and you said something over there or you decided something um, or maybe somebody said something to you there is something about a thing which really struck you or it could be some sort of a realization or something if you asked for something I feel like that's coming in really really quickly you're not gonna see it coming um, but with the tower card over here, I don't know why it does not feel negative this time. The tower is usually negative, but in this reading, it does not. So definitely that is the case over here. Um, yeah, something about icy water I hear. So maybe you went to a place where the water was really, really cold. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting something about a night where there was a thunderstorm they're highlighting that to me and you looked out of your window and then there was a thunderstorm something like that or maybe it was rainy yeah it was raining but it's not just rain it's not like peaceful it's really really loud and that's what they're telling me like exactly i was getting for a lot of you now the person that we were talking about um the fire sign you know this person is really attracted to you like they their desires for you are really um strong uh, but at the same time this person sees a future with you so i feel like whoever this person is um they're dealing with something right now which is not pleasant it's really dark um this person might be dealing with addiction they might be dealing with um some sort of a battle that this person is facing alone i feel like nobody's aware of this but this person is facing some dark battle um it's really um scary i'm not even gonna lie um and i feel like this person is kind of caught up in that or they've been caught up in this thing for quite some time i'm hearing five months or five years that's a long time um but this person's desires for you are really, really strong. And this person might ask you out. They want to date you. I'm hearing they want to date you. I don't know who this person is, but maybe, um, yeah, that is the case over here. And um, although this person is a fire sign, they are walking like, I'm hearing they're walking like an earth sign, which means they're a bit slow. Um, 
and the reason why this person is this way is because um this person is really trying to sort out everything um especially the thing that i got about addiction if somebody is going through addiction i feel like that person is just kind of like really messed up um so yeah do be aware of that that's kind of like um that's really dark I'm not going to lie and um somebody could be a virgo i think i already said that somebody could also be a water sign over here um i'm getting scorpio mainly um that's why i'm getting and let's see what else is here i'm getting um you are going to reap the benefits of your efforts something like that so you put in a lot of efforts you've put in everything energy and like all that you could and now you're going to get the results of that now is the time for the outcome to present itself um and i feel like it's going to be in your favor you can finally relax now i'm i'm i don't know why am i getting that somebody really really does need to hear it um that they've been so caught up in everything they've literally overworked themselves and i feel like somebody so overwhelmed that they really need to hear that they can relax now so if that is you you can relax now things are coming to you and you, there is no need to stress there is no need to panic and i feel like um all the things that you're going to receive they feel like blessings and those blessings are going to be going to come in multiple ways so they're telling me um you are going to be blessed with a lifelong connection with someone and um and i'm also getting materialistic things so maybe somebody has some materialistic goals um some things that you need to do some trips that you need to take and some things on your bucket list i feel like you're going to get that but the most important thing which is being highlighted over here is your um love life in the person that is coming towards you um i feel like you have been searching for the one now if i have to be very honest i have to say that you've been waiting for the one for quite some time and it's been a long time you've been waiting for this person and um yeah it's almost like um somebody's feeling really lonely or somebody felt really lonely throughout the whole journey um but finally you're just one step away from this person i'm not going to lie you're just one step away um and it's almost like whoever this person is you know um the more and more i try to dive into this energy the more drained i am getting because it's like if i would were to tell this person in person that um like if i were to tell them specifically that you're going to get your person like you're going to be with them and it's it's just one step away i feel like it's almost like this person would snap back at me or be like um like they they're just simply so hopeless that they don't want to hear any like i'm hearing they don't want to hear any bs anymore so i don't know who this person is who's really really annoyed with the waiting period especially but if that is you i can just simply say that you are actually one step away from your person and it's almost like you cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel um but for some reason it is for some reason we cannot we can never know how the divine intelligence works but um i feel like your person is here they're coming very very soon it's it's almost like they're one step away um definitely if somebody is manifesting over here i see your person your person is um i'm hearing they're calm like the waters so i don't know what that is i feel like this person is really emotionally balanced and they're really this person is not going to be insecure so if you're tired of that if you're like okay i cannot deal with those kind of people anymore um i feel like this person is not going to be insecure they're very much secure this person is really calm as well something about their it's almost like their demeanor when they would come and meet you or they would sit next to you it's almost like you can feel their vibe which is so calm and something about the expressions and the way they talk to you um it's going to be really calm as well and really gentle um this person definitely could be a wood sign i think i've said this three times at this point but they keep bringing it up it must be for a reason so somebody is a wood sign over here just know that um 
yeah and something about let's see somebody also um i'm getting the word fish i'm i don't really remember if i got that in the first pile or if in if i got that in this one but i'm hearing somebody's fond of fishes or somebody's fond of fishing either of the two so do keep that in mind and what else is over here i feel like this person is really they're a master at something something that this person does and they're really good at that um it could be their profession it could be oh okay they're really good at talking to the opposite sex as well so i feel like this person is i'm not getting this this like um this sort of energy in like a bad way or like in a negative way it's almost like they're really the opposite sex finds them really comforting and really attractive i do want to say it's almost like they know how to talk to um someone of the opposite sex that's the best way i can explain um yeah definitely somebody's name might start with an m or a k and g as well yeah that's why i'm getting and okay um I feel like okay you know what I just see a person in like in one place and all the other places I only see you um I'm also getting you were really confused before regarding something in your life or there was just a lot of confusion and you didn't know where you were going um so if this makes any sense then I feel like you're going to get out of that zone by yourself you're going to take some conscious steps i do see that somebody is making a to do list so maybe it's you um i see you making a to do list so whoever this is that is doing all of these things i feel like it's working it's getting you to a better place a better state as well um yeah i feel like all of these things that you're doing it's almost like it's moving you closer and closer to your person um definitely So yeah, um I'm going to finish off this part right here. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. That really helps me out and do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, which is catered to your own needs and requirements and your own situation, then you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time.